everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kiki and in today's video we are going to be chatting about all the books I read in April. I can't believe we're in May. May! It's my birthday next week, friends. My birthday is the day before Mother's Day this year. My husband is absolutely loving that because in his mind he thinks he gets to kill two birds with one stone. And I'm like, oh no buddy. No, no, no. I want two separate days here. I want to be celebrating Mother's Day and I want to be celebrating my birthday. So that's two back-to-back -back days of potential book gifts from my husband. Fingers crossed anyways. He also has access to my wish list, so hopefully he pulls through for me. This month I read 12 books. I read a mixture of Kindle Unlimited books and physical books. I only have one five star read and my five star read is Weak Side by S.J. Silvis. I am super lucky and super thankful that I am actually on Sammy's ARC team. And I got this as an early copy and oh my god friends, it is the best hockey romance book I've ever read. Sammy did such a good job here. She actually wrote a hockey romance, like there is hockey in this book. We have ice time, we have practice, we have game time, we have hockey tour. It's amazing, I loved it so much. Five stars all the way, Sammy's best work, highly recommend, please go read it. I think Sammy just deserves all the hype and all the success in the world and I would just love to see Weak Side flooding my bookstagram feed. I think that would be really cool to see. In April, I read three 4.5 star reads. Honestly, after Weekside, I kind of reverted back to my old self where I became super stingy and super picky with my five star reads. Honestly, the reason why these books didn't get five stars are for the tiniest, tiniest reasons. And I can guarantee you anyone else would have just given them five stars. But that's just not me. For some reason, I'm that person that is like, huh, no, there's a flaw there. It's not getting five stars. Happy Place by Emily Henry. I have a review for it here on my channel. If you want to go check it out, go check it out. Love this book so much. Emily Henry's best work to date, in my opinion. My favourite Emily Henry book. It deserves all the hype that it is currently getting and will continue to get. I just love this one so much. So definitely, definitely go read it. My next 4.5 star read was Still Beating. This is like polar opposite to Happy Place. It is a dark romance and oh boy. Don't do what I did, friends. Do not read this book before you go to bed. Don't start it before you go to bed. The first few chapters is not what you want up here when you are trying to fall asleep at all. It is heartbreaking soul crushing it hurts it's a really great read if dark romance is your thing i do highly recommend i actually just recently made a aesthetic board for this for my pinterest just looking at it makes my heart kind of go oh like oh those poor characters dean i absolutely love dean so much to the point where there was one stage there where i thought dean was going to knock noah riley from say you swear off my like top book boyfriend list if you are here from Bookstagram, you know my my obsession with Noah Riley. If you are here from Booktube, I have an obsession with Noah Riley from Say You Swear from Megan Brandy. Dean from Still Beating almost knocked Noah off my top list. He was so close, but it didn't happen. So I love that book. The reason why it didn't get five stars was because the female main character kind of took a bit of a turn towards the end of the book and she started it annoying me so much that I just couldn't get past that. My next 4.5 stars was a physical copy. It was Not So Meet Cute by Megan Quinn. This is worth the hype. I loved this book so much. A billionaire romance. There's funny moments. There's banter. There's tension. The spice is great. Loved this book. Highly recommend. April, I also read five four-star reads. I have two physical four-stars here. Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey. This was amazing. I put this book off because the second book in this series just didn't really do it for me. And I have to admit, I wish I didn't put it off because this was great. I actually really, really enjoyed this one. And out of the three books in this series, I think it's called the Hot and Hammered series. 
this would be my favourite. My other four star read in my physical books was uh, Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. I have to admit, I've not read many Christina Lauren books. I've read The Unhoneymooners and this one. This was really fun. So much adventure, so many twists and turns that I didn't see coming. Who knew that I could actually be shocked in a book like this? Second chance romance, not a fan of second chance romance. But I actually thoroughly enjoyed this one. It was so great to read this to break up all my other like romance reads that I was reading this month. My other four star read that I read was Lotus. This one is kind of connected to Still Beating. So if you're going to read the two, read Still Beating first and then Lotus second. You can read either of them as standalones. In Lotus, there's a tiny crossover. Like you, you know the end game of Still Beating in Lotus. I loved Lotus. If you loved Archer's voice, you'll love Lotus. It's similar vibes. It was so great. My two other four star reads were Brutal Obsession and Devious Obsession. This is book one and book two in this series. It is a dark hockey romance. That's right. Dark romance, hockey romance put together and it was so good. Toxic as hell. Bully romance, down to its truest form. If they are not your thing, if you cannot read toxic romances, don't even bother with these two books because it is toxic as hell. I loved these two books so much. There is a third book coming out. You get a little taste of who the MMC is in the third book in the second. And I'm telling you now, I've got a feeling Miles' book is going to be the best one, I think. So next in April, I read This Baby, 3.5 stars by L. Kennedy. This is the second book to the prep novel series. And the first book is Misfit. Unfortunately, this one didn't do it for me. It was very over-dramatized. Like there was too much drama in it to the point where it was kind of not necessary. And a lot of like repeat drama. You would read drama here and then a few chapters down, you would read the same drama, just written differently. I didn't really connect with Casey in this book as much as I did Sloane in the first book. I did still love it. I will continue the series because I want to know where it goes and how it's going to wrap up. This one just kind of fell flat for me. I the, It's multiple pulp as well, which really worked in the first book. But in this book, I didn't really see the point of it. Sealus is, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Sealus. His pov in this book just was very pointless to me. I will have a full review coming to my bookstagram page of this this week. I have like so many notes in my phone for this. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and kind of like go over them and figure out my full review as a process. After my 3.5 star book, I have two three star books. My first one is The Cheat Sheet and eh. I'm sorry, that's pretty much it for that book. I didn't really like it. I kind of found the whole book to be one big bag of miscommunication. There were some parts that were okay, but yeah, I didn't really enjoy that book. My other three star book was So Not Meant To Be. And this really makes me sad because we had such a good time in the first book. And then the second book just really fell flat for me. JP, who is your MMC in this book, carried it all the way. If it was not for him, I probably would have DNF'd this book. So this one is worth the hype. This one, not so much. So that's my April wrap up, friends. 12 books, only one five star read. I'm not going to be doing a May hopefuls video this month. I really don't have any books that I'm like, I want to read that this month. I'm kind of just not really feeling it. I think I'm just going to go into the month, just whatever. I'm currently reading a fantasy book. I'm just going to kind of go with the flow. I'm going to read what I feel like when I feel like it. If you have read any of these books, I would love to know what you rated them. If you liked them, if you didn't like them. Honestly, I just love chatting about books. So drop a comment below. That's my April wrap up video, friends. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all in the next video.